everyone welcome to another episode of Goa 365's story behind the story now we have been watching the news we have been you know becoming part of what is happening in various parts of india regarding sexual assaults uh, molestations of women all over now this latest what do you say uh, outpouring of uh, <coughs> people coming <coughs> out on the streets big, uh, uh, has been seen after a long time after the nirbhaya incident in delhi but this time it's in calcutta and it started off or it, it started off with the brutal rape and murder of a doctor in the hospital premises to discuss this issue which is basically a total what do you say a total breakdown of the law and order situation a huge a huge mess as far as investigation is concerned uh i think a failed attempt at a political cover up in calcutta this created a lot of uh, angst all over the country people came out on the streets in calcutta and everywhere else of course the opposition parties in calcutta have taken it up as an issue to put uh, the uh, chief minister of west bengal on the mat but this is not uh, an isolated incident within a couple of days after that there was a, a gang rape of a minor in 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 uh, bihar wherein the girl was abducted from her house taken killed gang raped killed literally into pieces and thrown out then a couple of days back there was a major uh, sexual assault on two minors in thane therein also the people had to come out before action was taken after that in uh, nurse from jharkhand was taken and and raped and killed see all these things are happening all over now the reasons why this is happening is something that our uh, panel will discuss but what is being seen today it's it's very sad that society as a whole has had to you know is part of this people take up issues then after some time once the issue dies down they forget about it the politicians instead of trying to be more holistic and take this up as an issue in in public or of the people they try to blame each other point fingers at each other this i meant for you are at fault you are at fault cover it up that's it so anyway this is just a little bit of what i'm um, you know what i feel so i would like this very very uh, you know i think uh, qualified panel to discuss these various issues of course i will be putting in my two bits as the thing uh, goes on and i would like to introduce them first starting off with advocate advocate sidhar bab samant who is also a political analyst very much tuned in to how the government's work samant bab welcome to our show advocate pratima ma'am kutino a political activist former politician <laughs> probably future politician also <laughs> and she's been involved in lots of these issues in fact she's been targeted by the government for taking up many of these women's issues pratima ma'am welcome to our show satyashree gandham a former journalist who's been i mean let her introduce herself she's been working in in uh, national media for a long time right now she's taking a break <laughs> so as to say <laughs> satya ma'am welcome to our show cecil ma'am rodrix from a firebrand social activist uh, incidental politician as i would call her <laughs> but somebody who's been taking up issues not only related to women but generally issues which affect the state cecil ma'am welcome to our show. and last but not the least probably is going to be the hero of this show is a uh, the tmc national smokespan uh, my good friend trajan bab dimelo trajan bab welcome to our show dotor since this is let's uh, start off on a slightly saner platform something like you know the legal part of it the legalities of it where this uh, the messes are <coughs> happening in lots of these cases i would like to give you a general overview starting off with of course what's happened in in uh, that uh, i think car RG car hospital in calcutta sound bab uh initial reaction doesn't uh, doesn't seem to be to give justice at least as far as state administration is concerned now uh, whenever a incidents like this uh, comes to the light the first thing that is to be done that's where the criminal law is 
set in motion is filing of an fir now that's the first hurdle the doors are closed at that instead of registering it an as an fir fir what it is being registered is an unnatural death for 24 hours absolutely nothing has been done a statement comes to say that she must have committed suicide thereafter when public garnered uh, voice in favor of the accused uh, in favor of the victim then an fir is registered that is after 24 hours and there also see uh, the manner in which the state government has been dragging its feet right from beginning the principal instead of being sacked is being given a better uh, posting somewhere else he is just transferred to a better hospital than uh, than this the protesting doctors are thrashed thrashed and uh, 150 police now that is all seen in cctv cameras take shelter in women's dressing room <laughs> now this is the kind of this is the kind of impunity that you see uh, by the state government and uh, doesn't look like so the investigation now is handed over to uh, cbi those are the high court orders the high court orders yes but that at whose instance it is the victims parents who went to the high court not at the state on its own is entitled to give when you see the issue is you know it is getting a limelight it, i mean you are put at the spot uh, the police doesn't seem to be doing let us assume for the because we do not have di direct evidence to say that the chief minister was stalling it or some other person was stalling it because we require concrete evidence to say but at least one thing is sure that police are dragging their feet so at least if not from local police station to crime branch that's the minimum thing that should happen did the state do that no absolutely nothing so the state government does not seem to be it, it, it they were not seeing to be done anything on the side so that's the first thing what manner evidence to be this women's issues that's the first but kind of you know uh, the Uh, response that was required to be shown by the state government which is headed by the women chief minister is absolutely pathetic this this is something which is see it is not and i will not politicize it it's not that it's not about bengal or something rapes have been you just mentioned three incidents after this it has happened in past also and at different places but the cover up that has been seen at every level protesters are thrashed victim they are saying that no it's not a rape it's a suicide when on the face of it nobody can uh, you know commit a suicide by thrashing herself the uh, amount of injuries uh, without without the visara reports coming in how do you how, how does it, yes 14, yeah. so yes and and cctv cameras are there that entire hospital has so wait for the uh, re, uh, investigation to come out and something would have come but the uh, approach of the police or the uh, law enforcement agencies is uh, seem to be protecting the perpetrators than giving justice to the this so therefore right the first step is right that it has been given to somebody else in fact you will not believe yesterday orders have been passed by the supreme court that even those who doctors who have uh, written uh, mails have been given protection not by the state police but by crp sure. this is the kind of, even police those who are supposed to protect give protection to the family members of the victim give protection to the protecting uh, protesting doctor or the people who are trying to help by uh, providing some evidence are being protected by the crp csf csf so this is the kind of this is the kind of investigation that they have started with as far as state police is concerned so uh, now uh, supreme court is seized of the matter and i i i i have a full faith that uh, a court monitor uh, investigation will uh, lead to some positive of course 36 accused have been arrested various uh, those who are perpetrators of the crime and uh, the those who orchestrated that attack on the this altogether around 36 or 37 arrests have been made so uh, uh, I, the uh, medical evidence will be there visara reports will come uh, the other investigation scientific and forensic investigations will be available uh, i think if if uh, competent uh, investigation officers 
if the case is assigned to some competent investigation officer uh, i have because it, this case has got recognition uh, uh, once it comes to limelight investigation officers also because they are also at the spot in this case uh, there are very fair chances that the uh, you know the victim will get the justice uh, but uh, since you brought up the topic of the other this those who are i mean uh, fir's are not even registered or those who are not I mean, they don't have political backings or social backing or media backings or it doesn't come to light like they those even uh, fir's itself are squashed thereafter because there is no investigation at all that's a separate point we'll take it some other time yeah but that the yeah. supreme court also has basically brought this part about the police investigation and all that we will bring this up i have a few points that i will want to give up later uh, thanks dr bab Uh, madam now this is an issue which you have faced also even here this sort of cover up by the cops and by the government even in goa right i think you are facing a few cases because <laughs> you went and fought for the victims i'm just saying you can you can bring it up in any sequence you want what you want to say first and foremost glen bob thanks for getting us on the show and uh, this is something very touching you know this is this subject is very touching to me because uh, as you said i'm been uh, supporting fighting for uh, such causes like you know sexual harassment uh, rapes molestation in goa itself and exactly what uh, bab samant has said i do agree to him puna ye ata popa gele 2024 we are in the uh, year 2024 august month okay and if you go to see na uh, from 9th august i can tell you that 14th august ata tuka sangta na mule 14 cases 14 cases jalle asat akya bharatat in india कोण भूग्या रेप के मुंबई के स्टार्टिंग विथ कोलकाता देन मुंबई चेन्नई हायद्राबाद बैंगलोर कोर मंगलोर दैट इज बैंगलोर देन ऑफकोर्स इन भोपाल नॉट मिस्टेकिंग लखनऊ अहमदाबाद पटना गुवाहाटी सो दिस इज हैपनिंग एवरीवे फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट सच हॉरिफिक इन्सिडेंट विच हेज टेकन प्लेस वी कंडेम दैट वॉट इज हैपन इन Kolkata, of course, these are all cases: abduction, uh, minor rapes, major rapes, brutal attacks, uh, murder. But here, this horrific incident. You know, I still get goosebumps when I think about Nirmaya Nirbhaya's case, which took place in Delhi uh, in the year 2012. After that, then there was in 17. Unna okay, Saili 19. Tujhe Banu Bhuta Jaili. Magi 24. Tata Kolkata. cases i'm sure i can say that uh, india has become the rape capital today because <laughs> i, no, I i'm anything. saying that india has become <laughs> the rape capital there's no safety for women because the law and order has collapsed and this is happening because time and again we have been saying that there should be strict uh, laws put in place and uh, amendment saupak jai fast track cases saupak jai ani aw sadhaat munta there should be something called fear instilled in the mind of perverts rapist and the ones who even imagine to commit such a crime tanka aun ta capital punishment due pa ka ne amend kar pa lo kite asa i supreme court ka judges are saying that when such a rape took place and the police uh, was there why they could not control the mob now coming to the point let me tell you ache brief ke ta kolkata je zale 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 after nirbhay je zale na horrific ha horrific horrific kita munta imagine आमचे गोय सावंत बाब जे प्रमोद सावंत सी एम आसा वेन देर वॉज अ रेप केस वीच हेड टेकन प्लेस एट मजोर्डा बीच एंड आई हेड टेकन लाइक अ कपल ऑफ लेडीज एटी लेडीज वेन आई वॉज अ महिला प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ गोवा देट टाइम सी एम केम विथ अ स्टेटमेंट सेंग दैट गर्ल्स शूड टेक केयर दे शूड नॉट बी गोइंग आउट एट लेट आर्स एंड देन यू मेड अ नादर स्टेटमेंट दैट इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द पेरेंट्स पेरेंट्सान अपने प्यूपल अपने भूगे खुं वोता दौड़ दूर जाए आता यू टेल मी आई फेल टू अंडरस्टेंड अ गर्ल हू सेक्रिफाइस्ड यू नो शी इन यूथ डेज वे शी शूड बी गोइंग विथ अ फ्रेंड्स फॉर मूवीज एंड गोइंग फॉर ट्रैक्स एंड हॉलिडेज शी सेक्रिफाइस्ड अ पेरेंट्स सेक्रिफाइस दे आर एवरीथिंग टू सी हर फुलफिलिंग अ ड्रीम ऑफ मेकिंग हर अ डॉक्टर शी वॉज अ पी जी नॉट ओनली अ मेडिसिन एम बी बी एस बट अ पी जी सेकेंड इयर एंड यू नो द लास्ट थिंग वॉट शी रोट इन अ डायरी दैट डे when this horrific incident took place that i want to achieve my degree and i want to uh, be the gold medalist maka gold medalist sapak jai mun tene last words brilli but what she gets akrank ratche aw bapu phone matat how are you she says mama i'm okay papa i'm okay i'm having my grub i'm very tired i had 36 hours of duty imagine 36 hours of duty we take doctors as god at least i take doctors as god on earth because i know amka kide jale ra amka life holne ami dawta tanche kade and they are life savers are she is telling her parents you all go to sleep it's fine 
Nine, three o'clock, somebody just comes in. Where she goes to sleep? She's not gone in the hotel or outside. In the premise is, "Arey, tujhe hospital, which is to be the safest hospital, and tya aplya, tya roomat hoyta, seminar roomat, where there's a bed, just to lie down." And this man comes. And this man, nobody is talking much about it. He is attached to the police. He is attached very much to the police. He's a volunteer who had as he comes, he does. And there are many people. It's not only Atna. They have Bali ka bakra kya lagi tha. They have Bluetooth mail le ani because he has got a past history which like three bailiyo hi tejo hote ni harass ko talo sexual harassment ko talo mun solya. Fourth one died of cancer. So it is said that he is a pervert and a womanizer, whatever. But this is not only one man's job. Imagine taje dorey atlyan okle taje kaucho bitoro sun taje dorey atlyan roga theta taje thona atlyan roga theta taje high bone to fracture zala 90 degree taje pain semen itle bitor bolna. So imagine the horrific. That how he malas the pelvic bone, pelvic joint was fractured. So this is not one man's job. And then what happens? What happens? They call the parents in the morning at seven and say that your daughter is very serious. She is not in the condition. She is very bad. Kine zala kona? Parents are calling back. They don't get any answer. They come to the hospital. They are saying your daughter has committed suicide. So now tell me, who is? Aje kono lai na? The management. Who have called? The principal and the management also should be booked for this, because how could you all tell lies that the daughter has committed suicide, and then kept three hours waiting? The parents were crying to go inside. Own parents, imagine it happens to you and me, our own child, and we are not given the right to go. And then they find out that father finds only one piece of cloth on the daughter and so many injuries and bleeds. And then what happens? On the eve of independence, independence, independence. yeah, independence. And celebrate, Guru Baba. Who is independence? Only government. That they bow down over each other. Let's see. No, it's not a independent. What uh, what Mahatma Gandhi had said? Real independence is when there will be a freedom for a girl to walk at night freely. Are we independent? Are our kids independent? And then what happens? Mob comes. Are more people? Police call. Supreme Court judge. I was looking at that. Supreme Court is telling judge is saying, in the presence of so many cops. How could the mob come and attack? And what they do? They destroy the place of evidence. And what is the government doing? I am not doing politics here. I am not here in the mood of blaming any politicians or any political parties here. It's about the mindset. The, the rapist doesn't have any religion. Rapist doesn't have any political party here. But but then there is something called interference by the politicians. There is something called by the interference. You tell me. How they got the right to go and vandalize? So like, cover kele, evidence cover kele. And then come, maybe 36 or maybe kitle, 24 hours ni the FIR kele. FIR kele, so for the sleep. Bombs have been taken after huh? three, three days. days. Can you can, can you, you can you believe? Can you imagine What three days it takes to there? file an FIR? And who who is heading the state? Yar, is a lady, a woman. Forget the country is gone to trash. Modi is not bothered because I can understand he is not he doesn't have a wife at home he doesn't have daughter I can understand he is polite I can understand but Manta you are a woman you are a lady see I said I don't want to do politics but she is supposed to be a firebrand leader she could have just put you know no, FIR dal ho khatam karo you are telling later ki CBI ke CBI uh, CBI ke hath me do I think on the thirteenth I think it is given handed to CBI no that is because what, high, what court, is high court high court uh, high court Okay, She whatever. She said by I, Sunday. Arey, this is all law and order is totally collapsed, as I have told you. Where in West Bengal or in it India? It is not only West Bengal; it is entire of India, even in Goa. There are so many cases which have come to me. It all starts with a woman. I would like to make a charge on woman. I would like to blame the woman because it's woman who starts in the family. When the girls are born in the family, there is discrimination there. They have to be taught first. We say that we have to teach brothers, sisters. No, it's about the woman, the mother, the grandmothers, and the aunts. We have to tell the brother, respect your sister, and tell the sister, and not tell the sister. No, you are not supposed to wear short dresses. You are not supposed to wear the shorts. You are not supposed to go. Umke time aur tu bhai ros pana. Behave like a girl. Be in the kitchen. You are not supposed to party. You are not supposed to go for party with your brothers or friends. You don't have to wear tube tops or. This has to stop. Tu chedu monis. Tu rao. No. Which century we are? Women are working today. It's a threat everywhere. Why only hospitals? It's not only about a doctor. It's about every girl child, even who is travelling in the bus, who is working in the offices, anywhere, bloody them. Even in your office, you you must be having so many women. Where is the safety? No, here in this office we have safety. Because I'm telling you, no, you never know where there is molestation taking place. 
हाय प्रोफाइल माका येऊन सांगतात पण माय किती म्हणतात द मदर्स कम इन नॉट युअर्स मेन नेवर कम ऑन आय एम गिविंग एन एग्जांपल हियर दैट यू हैव इवन वुमन वर्किंग विथ यू इन वी हैव 50% वुमन यस दैट्स व्हाट नो सो द मेन आर मैच्योर्ड हियर दे नो दे दे हैव दैट टेंगा ते शिक्षण असते दे प्रॉब्ली अदर्स आई विल शूट सो व्हाट ऑफ कोर्स दैट इज दैट नो सो दैट फियर इज देयर नो दैट बॉस इज स्ट्रिक्ट सो दैट इज व्हाट so that is what i'm saying to they are so like kabar zala ye horrific incidents on so like hallo le ha no i totally me, agree so with you i totally agree enough for nirbhaya one nirbhaya two no, nirbhaya no. three nirbhaya four society one. we don't society, want competition i totally agree society i feel have to be is blamed and men as a rule have to be blamed because i i see we are indians but to, in from the past till today men have been given this thing that no you guys are alpha you are the, you may be shit you may be nothing but still that superiority thing is that today this domination is coming why because today women are also studying they are also working they are financially sound so how are you going to do domination how are you going to humiliate the person and the family this is what they do and, and, and they are getting away with it because the conviction rates are abysmal exactly it is not the question of taking taking the guy and putting him in jail See how many of these heinous crimes conviction rates are happening. We check and see. We have capital. Our rules are the strongest in the world. But they are implemented. No, the conviction rates are very bad. Interference is there. Interference or no, the police do not know how to investigate. The same guy who is doing investigation is going out on bondo bus. Twenty-four hours he is going doing lati charges. How you? No, it's a specialist. You tell me one thing. You are a you are a social activist. You are a politician. You are a uh you are a lawyer yeah can you do a job as a chef never are because you are not thought no are do no, there are you yeah in this case it's self it seems ye ye kolkata jale thi ti choli tinga nagdi ti mail li asa 90 degrees pa si men itle bolna dogot bhavta but you know the police comes the police comes and tells the father suicide father statement is there i was just going through study kotta le ye tar dis ti tu tu sang You know the one cop comes and says that take this amount. We are ready to pay you so much amount so that is and pay the amount to case party guy and let's show it as suicide. So what is this? So what is this? Where is police? And he kide Ram Rahima wasle. As that we saw our sir Ripa Kalagun Bitor. Poor election act was pa khatir. Who hardly like you know tenka okay. katta. Okay. I'll give you a chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they are being we'll, governed. We'll, we'll, we'll let let the others talk on this. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Pradima. Yeah. Uh, so this is you have been a journalist and you worked in in like uh, places like Delhi which are not woman friendly. So what is this scene? Is this uh, is this a is an endemic thing? Of course you you can start off with Calcutta and whatever has been happening, but is this an endemic thing? What is the scene? As have has our society deteriorated? Has the fear of the law because of conviction, because of political interference, because there are no morals. powerful people ministers and all today uh, i don't know infidelity roaming around with each, each other's wives and husband is happening even in goa i'm not going to name names but it's been happening everybody knows about it nobody can do about it so there is no you cannot blame the political parties what are they going to say you cannot blame anybody what is the scene is it our society which is deteriorating degrading or is it it's a this is a huge power play between women and men or is it women are being used as pawns because i'm sure cecil will come up on this he saying this happens on a regular basis you are you know stared at objectified you are you know people's eyes look at your toes because they are so you know you are put such nice nail polish or whatever <laughs> but <laughs> i'm just saying what do you feel satya you know some time back i was asked uh, i live in goa now i'm a 5 year old goan okay uh, but i have worked as a journalist and as different professionals in different cities and in different countries so somebody asked me oh you used to live in delhi how did delhi and since most of the television channels are in noida in the film city i was in noida right so like you were in noida my god did you how did you feel safe did you feel safe at all interesting the person asked me the question because you know when you are going about your day to day activities you get up and you go to work finish your work and then you come back home you don't think about oh is it safe to do this or is it safe to not do this you just live right uh ironically there's never been a time in my life in any place including delhi that i felt unsafe delhi is called the rape capital of the country i personally have never felt unsafe only because i never 
thought about safety. Safety was not paramount in my head when I'm going about my job or even just struggling through the day, right? So that's one. Two, there are people walking on the road even late in the night, like really late, 11, 12, on the on busy roads like a Gurgaon highway waiting for an interstate bus to come in. And there are laborers, there are people who are doing physical work. You want to go and ask them how safe you feel? For them, safety is not in their head. Mm. It's like daily wages. That's primary. Survival. So thinking about safety at that time, right? So that's scenario one. Scenario two, I really want to move the narrative from the legal and the political landscape to something which is like a malaise in the society. Um, mm. Somebody was telling me that mm. India has become the rape capital. Interestingly, some time back I was watching a documentary on the happiest countries of the world. The Nordic countries came up and I read more about it. The happiness quotient was not defined by the rate, crime rate. It was not defined by... I'll stop at crime rate, right? I also then looked up about rapes, specifically rapes and sexual assaults on women. The Nordic countries are not too far behind. The rate may be lower, but they're not far behind. This is just to prove that I think it's a malaise in the system that we live in where the need for safe spaces come up. The fact that there's even a need for a safe space sexual violence, we're talking about something that's come in the public limelight. Just take it back a little further. What is safe? A hospital is not safe because it's got so many people over there, right? It's out and in your face. That's not safe. So when you say, Akele mat jana, don't go out alone, what? You'll take everybody with you wherever you go. Here, in a public space, she created a place for herself yes, to lie down. Now what? Sona bhi akele mat, don't even sleep alone bring people along what is safe now take it back even further in your own house children are being molested absolutely marital rapes are happening and these are not outsiders coming into your house by parents uncles and it's not just the girls it's the boys as well now it's the boys also, yes actually you know what it's been there all through only the reported cases are so fewer because of <coughs> the patriarchal world we live in. Okay, can I uh, pause you at this moment? We will be back uh, after a short break. Uh, we will be back after a short break. Keep watching.